dear brother and sister we often hear people saying truth is bitter and indeed it is very true that truth is always bitter for those who do not want accept truth as truth seems to be bitter for them in today's gospel jesus continuing about revealing the communion or the intimate bond that exists between him and with his heavenly father says if you keep my word you will not taste death but the people of jesus time or the jews of jesus time or the leaders of jesus time all of a sudden they concluded that you have a demon what more can we expect from the people of jesus time even they went to call the messiah as demon they never knew that he was truly the son of god and the messiah who came to liberate them from all sorts of bondages particularly from the bondage of sin but the jews of jesus time claimed that abraham died prophets died and how can you say that one who hears your word will not see death jesus counted answer to them whatever i do it is not for my glory but it is my heavenly father glory fies me in every way what i do is yes, my dear friends jesus told abraham desired to see me and he has seen me and he wo- he became glad but the jews of jesus time said you are only 50 years old have you seen abraham jesus replied Bef- before abraham i am i was meaning he was there from the beginning when the time was fulfilled god sent him as his greatest messenger by making him just like any one of us as human beings into our world and he lived just like any one of us except sin dear friends word of god is alive and active it has the capacity or the power to do marvelous things in the one who accepts the word of god if one is rejecting the word of god that is spoken by jesus then definitely there is there cannot be change in his or her life jesus in himself told in the gospel of st john chapter 
the words i have spoken are spirit and life what it means means whatever jesus has spoken have effect or the power to change one's total self maybe humble ourselves to hear that word which our life changing ones let us not become proud and fail to change our lives and to experience that eternal life forever in god and in jesus christ amen